you know, um, did you plan to have cotton today? Did you no, plan? I didn't. Oh, no, I didn't. I didn't. I was just getting more and more upset and and um, felt really that someone needed to stand up, speak up, and speak out about what's going on because you know lots of people have been uh, suspended and expelled from this party. Even some on the way here. And it, it's not on. What have they done? They don't even know the reason. It's because they're activists in their community. It's because they're building the Britain we need to have. The Britain that Mark Drakeford is building in Wales. And they are not going to... Hang on. Who's a better heckler, you or Steve Bray? I wasn't a heckler. I stood up, I spoke out. I'm a principled, decent working person. And I'm a fair person. And what I did was listened until it was no longer a possibility that I could remain silent. You know, there are women being murdered. There are children being murdered now. And I won't be complicit in that. So I speak out about that as well. We can no longer remain silent. I know in this hall, there are violent men. They need to acknowledge their violence. They need to get help. There are services to get help. They need to remove themselves from a situation that becomes difficult and have breathing space, and they need to stop it. Just, can I just ask you, in that speech, Keir Starmer didn't mention the word socialist or socialism. No, he doesn't. And he did quite often reference New Labour's record. Did you yourself, did that, I'm not interested did you in about? Tony Blair or New Record, uh, New Labour. That, you know, that's gone. If he wants to move the party forward so that it's electable, he's got to be actually not only saying things, but his 10 pledges he's gave and he's uniting the party. It's more divided than it's ever been at the moment and he's not uniting it and his pledges have been reneged on. He needs to get back to the drawing board. He needs to, you know, I would happily have him as the leader of a party and also as prime minister of this country. But what he's got to do is get back to the drawing board. He's got to look at what really matters to ordinary people, the people who don't have a voice here. You know, the rest of this country who can't come to conferences, can't listen to fancy speeches. You know, they can go on for half an hour. But if there's nothing in it, if it's an outline with nothing filling in, thank you, then, then it means nothing. Carol, can I just ask you?